coaching has to be right to produce the players that we want to produce. Mm. I don't think it's a question of investment in, in Ireland. I think there's quite a... Tom Humphreys you know, had a brilliant piece in the Irish Times the other day about the difference between the way Germany nurtures its young players mm. and how they get into the, the big clubs in Germany, into the teams, mm. uh, and how England does, and how in England, if, they, if a major club wants a new player, the first resort is to go abroad and spend correct, yeah. tens of millions. Whereas in Germany, Müller... Got his chance for Bayern Munich. Uh, Ozil has had his chance. Uh, for Kedera. Kedera has also had his chance. Had Tom Humphreys contrasted this, and it was a brilliant piece of journalism. It was. It was exceedingly and, and good. And Tom is out there, well researched, and, and really showed the way. But the, point, the, but the point he was making. Enough, though, sorry, you have right? to, the English players, the English clubs actually do want to play home-based players. No, but they got them. But, no, but, but no. Here's, oh, here's the point then. Uh, next week, Chelsea want to play Manchester City, Manchester United. Mm. Or, uh, now, what they do, if they need a player, they immediately reach for the checkbook much more often than the German clubs. The German clubs are playing more young lads who come up. Lean would know, uh, again, more than either of us, I think. Well, I think what, I Is think that true, point, I think that's true, Em, because they're producing, the whatever way they're doing it in Germany now, they are producing good young players. What? No, John. But, but no, the clubs, no, are, the clubs Bill, are taking Bill, players from the locality. Bill, no. the young players just, from the yes, locality. Yes, yes, yes. Well, no, John, you must be willing to blood them. You must be willing to play no. them. That's well, the I point. Agree, I agree with that. But if you got Ozil, Lad Ozil from Germany, if he was at Chelsea, you're not telling no, John, me... No, John, he, he wouldn't would, have gotten the side. I don't believe, I don't believe that. I'm, I'm telling you, he wouldn't. You, you, with yeah, Manchester City, you with know, the Neil, Czech you, book. Liam, you're the person on the ground. You tell us, are young people getting a break? From well, your experience, no, in, like, in England, like they in are England, in Germany, uh, like they are in Ghana, in, in like England, they are in Uruguay. In, in England, the the uh, Premier League is so cash rich that they're going, as Eamon says, for the quick fix. Now, Germany, uh, in many ways, have become the third, fourth league uh, in the last ten years because the money's not there to pay their players, and the likes of Balak have have, have left and yeah. gone to Chelsea. I think there's been a conscious effort now in Germany to play these young lads in the team and it's paid off for them, all the, all the players that Eamon's mentioned. They can't go and buy the best Brazilian that's around. They can't go and buy the best Argentinian that's around. It doesn't happen in, in, mm. in, in Argentina or it doesn't happen in, in Germany. Germany, whereas in England that's what's happening. But for instance, taking your job now in Arsenal, I mean, are you, to, to, what extent, to what extent are you committed to getting the best players in the, in the, in the, in the Arsenal location, as it were, within the kind of uh, that area? Or, and, and would well, that we be, are, would we that are, be and, No, we are, are and, 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 and there's quite a number of, of uh, young lads at Arsenal now knocking on the door, but they'll probably have to go and play on loan somewhere, either in the Championship or in the pre Premier Division last year, like Jack Wilshire did at Bolton. Uh, and we've got a number of players who will probably go out again this year to get them the experience. Mm. Uh, but, you know, the, there's clubs like Man City now. You wonder wh what their youth policy is all, around, uh, all about I'd say now. It's largely you know. irrelevant. Well, Stephen Ireland, he, he looks like he's, after having a very, very good career at Man City up to the last year, he looks like he's on his way out. It looks like it, indeed, The, the way to answer the question is this, and it's very relevant to parents here in Ireland who have... Uh, sons who are very good players and, want, and I wanted to... If you have a choice and you're an outstanding young Irish footballer, if it was my son and he was 16 or 17 and Chelsea or Manchester United came from Manchester City or Liverpool or Bayern Munich or Werder Bremen or Stuttgart, I'd want him to go to Bayern Munich. Would you really? Yes, because I, I know he'd get in the team. I know he'd get a chance because they're yeah. not going to be going around like Manchester City and Manchester United and others, and just solving the problem with a large check. And that blocks up the way for young players to come through. And you find, like Manchester United now, Manchester United have been a big spending club for a very long time, but they've brought no players through. John O'Shea is the only player that I can think of right now, at this moment, and he's 28, John, I think, mm. who's come through the Manchester United uh, ranks uh, and established himself since the Gary Neville, David Beckham, mm. Paul Scholes generation. Mm. That is fundamental. Now, that's hugely well, what important. What you're saying is radically different to the view that would be held, I'd say, by most parents in Ireland. Because well, yeah, they'd automatically think well, Premier League. Well, well I, 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 and I should have addressed it more as a football 
journalist Tom Humphreys addressed it, not in quite those terms, yesterday in the Irish Times. I have believed for a long time that so many gifted young kids go out of here to big clubs in England and they never have a chance again in the what first What about team. that, Liam? No, I don't think that's true. I think, I think if you're good enough, you'll always come through. But you would, but but Eamon yeah, Eamon's correct, that you're Eamon's not likely to get a break. Though. No, Eamon's using the word gifted. But if you're gifted, you'll come through. You know, Wayne Rooney wasn't wasn't stopped from coming through. Um, he got his chance at Everton at 16, mm. 17 years of age. Perhaps Everton are not a great example. But Ferguson bought him when he was 18, 17, and he put him in the first team. So if you're good enough, they'll stick you in. Yeah, but I and I agree with John. So. I think Ozil, if he was playing in England now, he'd be first pick for Chelsea, Manchester United, anyone you want. It would he have been initially in the side at all to gain the experience to be the player? He wasn't born the player he is today. I mean, I, I, I don't. Well, think if, if it was in the Arsenal club, Wenger would have put him in. The yes, team. he's put yeah. lots of young yeah. lads in the team, not mm. necessarily English lads, but lots of young lads in the team mm. because he's not frightened of. of but of that is the exception. I, do, right I, on the I, rule. I don't know, but but what I what I think I, I don't think there are enough. I, I think the the the. the um, <coughs> Standard of young players coming into the game generally uh, is not as high as it used to be, mm -hmm. and I think if you're if they're good enough, I take Eamon's point. If somebody was, but they would probably this have a chance to get in the first in Germany, then, then they might in England. But I think the English clubs. If I was a manager, I'd be crying out for local lads who are good enough to put them to, to put them in the side. Yeah, but if you if the structure doesn't exist. Yeah, but proper but structure good doesn't enough exist. Good enough. I, I, I go back to, as, as Liam said, with Ozil and these young German players. I mean, they're only, how old are they, Eamon? 20, 21? 20, 20, yeah, well, Ozil's 21. Uh, well, I think if he that. was at Manchester United, he would, he would have got a chance in the team. I think if he was at Chelsea, he got a chance in the team. They want to, the, the, the clubs are spending money. I know they're spending money because they have to get instant success. But they're still looking for young players. But you could young, look at good, an awful lot of, 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 of young Irish players that we thought were very good and went to good clubs in the UK. And nothing happened to well, them. Well, if you look at, if you look at, because they never got into the team. Well, well I, I don't. That's, 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 that's a ridiculous that's, that's, argument. That's, 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 that's a ridiculous that's argument, right. Bill. No, I think that the thing well, is, if you if you don't make it at a club in England, let's say you go to Manchester United or Arsenal, if you don't make it, if you're good enough, you'll make it somewhere else and you'll bounce back. Hmm. See, Manchester United let him go, and in, in, uh, I don't know how old you were, John. Twenty twenty-two. Twenty-two. Two. They let him go. It didn't mean that he wasn't, he he wasn't going on the scrap heap, was oh, he? You know, if he's good enough for you, come back, Bill. All right. Yeah, I, I mean, this is the, the irony of what I'm arguing. I've criticised Arsene Wenger for not spending money as a, you know, as a critic. Uh, and I admire Wenger so much for what he's doing at Arsenal. But we have sat here in Champions League nights and said he should be out there buying <laughs> players <laughs> instead of playing these young kids. Which so, is a contradiction. Well, yeah. of course, and fans are like that too. So... All right, OK, time for a break. There's more to come, though, including analysis, a pre-match and a chance to win over...